Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to fix or rig pants for your pet or anything that causes this little glitch right here. And as you can see, as they walk, it does glitches and like it's pulling onto the opposite leg. So today I will be showing you how to fix that and hopefully you've already saved your OBJ and all your files. That way you can go back in and fix your pad um, and export it again to fix the glitching on your pet. So we'll go ahead and get started with that now. Okay guys, so first you should already have every file that you have already done with your adult pet or baby pet, whatever size pet you're doing. So you should already have everything already saved. Um, the only thing we're gonna remove is the this ODD in this right here that was exported with your unrigged pad. So I just wanna show you guys first, once you already attach the scale to your pad, um, before you even export it, you can also just test out your pad, your pad's movement to see if it does the glitching on the pants or anything. So for example, I have this, it's already um, exported, but before I export it, you can test it out um, simply by going into the hierarchies and we're just gonna hide our head low and medium and we're just gonna grab, let's say this area of the leg, all right? And then you're gonna hit the select or no, you're gonna hit the select and rotate. And we're just gonna test the rotation. You can just leave it there. And then unhide the high and then rotate it. And as you can see, I do see a little glitching right there. Um, you can also turn it this way. So I already can tell that this is gonna glitch in game. So that's pretty much just testing the movement. So if you can see, I can see that glitching right there. Um, so you can always do that before you even export it, but you will have to go all the way back to the beginning and rig the pad. Um, so whenever you move this, just make sure you control Z so that you put it right back in position. Cause if you don't put it back into position, your pad is gonna move very funny. All right, so first what we wanna go ahead and do is restart this whole process all over again. So I'm just going to um, import my base and also my OBJ. Um, this part will be fast forwarded up until we get ready to rig the pad. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and quickly show this and why I recommend not just pulling your um, ODD that you already exported um, simply because of this right here not sure what that is maybe it doesn't do anything but it normally should not look like that so that's why I always recommend just starting over it doesn't hurt to start over but um, the pants issue would most likely still do the same thing once you start over so i'm just gonna go ahead and just fast forward this and redo the pad and then i'll will return once i attach the pad to the base scale guys so once we've attached the scale deleted the base scale and or the base skin and applied our color vertices 
So we should now have the peg complete. So we can just test it out in this part right here again, just to see if the pants do the same thing. I'm pretty probably sure that it will. So like we did earlier, we're just gonna hide the scale and we're going to highlight the leg. area all right then we're just gonna unhide the skin and we're gonna hit the select and rotate and I would rotate it in a way not like that so we're just gonna do it again you want to make sure that you actually grab the leg And make sure you control Z to put it back in place. I'm gonna use a different area. Maybe that area. As you can see here, we have glitching. So this is what we want to avoid right here. So Control Z, put it back. All right, so in order to rig this, we're going to have to add weights to it and also remove weights because it's pulling, this side is pulling this side and this side is pulling that side. So we're gonna have to remove the weights from that area. And the best way to do that is go ahead and click your high. We're gonna go over to the right and you see where it says skin. Then we're gonna set select envelope under skin. And as you can see, it, turn, it should turn gray if you have not applied any skin to it. So it should turn gray. So now we can go ahead and add weights or remove weights. So you should see, scroll down, and you should see all your bones. And as you can see, it tells you what bone has weights to it. So the more red it is, the more weights it has, or it will move with the, with the bone. So right here, this is the right or the left calf it has the pants will move with that so i'm just going to show you an example of what's happening with the pants here so if i scroll all the way down and attempt to find why it's doing that as you can see i can see a little bit of yellow this is the reason why it's grabbing onto the other pants legs because it has weights applied to the other side so we want to go ahead and move, remove this right here. Um, if we go down some more, it has weights attached over here. All right, so, and you can continue down the list and see what shouldn't, what weight shouldn't be applied to what bone. And as I continue down, I still see more weights attached to the opposite bone so let's just go ahead and start from the top and we're going to scroll all the way at the top and hit vertices here all right then we're going to scroll down this list and we're going to locate our left leg first so whatever one you want to do we're going to locate that left calf scale all right, and then we're gonna scroll down. And then we're gonna hit weight tool. All right, so nothing selected because we haven't selected our vertices on this side. So what we wanna go ahead and do is hit, hold down this area where it says rectangular selection region and hit the lasso tool here all right and then we're going to scroll in 
and select this region right here. All right, do not hit anything over here because it will not grab everything. So as you can see, it grabbed that, the yellow, the blue part that shouldn't have any weights to it. And we're gonna hit zero in the weight tool area. And as you can see, it disappeared. And that's exactly how we remove the weights. If you need to add weights, you just go ahead and hit whatever, how much you wanna add. So if I do one, it's gonna definitely pull the pants from over here whenever you move, whenever this leg moves. So we just don't wanna do that. So we're gonna put zero on that. And we're just gonna scroll down the list and continue to remove weights that shouldn't be where it should be. All right. Okay, just gonna check the foot. So this area as well. So I'm just going to click off of that to remove the um, lasso tools. And I am going to use the lasso tool on that as well. And I'm gonna hit zero to remove that weight. All right, then we're gonna continue down the list. This part is fine because when he moved, it didn't really, you can't, couldn't really see it because the legs were closed, but you can always just go in and do your thing. All right, and just make sure it's at zero. All right, so we're gonna go down the list again. And right there is really good. We gotta get that out of there. Hit zero. We're gonna go down the list again. Already highlighted, but just to be sure, I want zero weights on it. All right, so you're pretty much complete. You just want to go back through the list and double check again that nothing else is attached where it shouldn't be. All right, so we're all complete. You can go ahead and exit out of the weight tool panel, go back up and hit edit envelopes. So that clears um, your editing from your weight. All right, so we can test this out one more time before we export it and try it in game. Um, so just hide the high and then select the the bone you want to select. And then we're just going to move it. And as you can see, it's not doing the same thing as before. It's definitely not pulling at all. Now that we remove the weights. All right, so from this point, you can go ahead and export your pad because, or continue um, adding in your 
textures and doing your low and medium. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and finish this out and I will show you the ending result in game. Here is our pad, and as you see, as he walks, no glitching. So I do see it a little bit up, like near the um, near this area, but like I showed you, you can always fix it. Uh, so that's pretty much how you remove the glitching in. Um, just a little bit with his pants leg, but you can add the weights back on in that area. So it's pretty much how you fix the pants legs. It's just pretty much removing the bones, removing the weights from the opposite leg. And there you have it. So if you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, leave some comments so I know what videos I can um, share with you guys on the next video. Oh, 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 o